Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to today's channel where we discuss all things sales, scaling and growing businesses. And on today's video, I've mapped out five specific tips on how to become a better sales rep. I was asked recently, Steve, what do you feel like are the five most important things to sales? And I am going to be breaking it down inside of this video. As always, take down some notes, pay attention and comment if you have any questions. Let's jump into it. Tip number one, this may be a little bit cliche, but it is absolutely your health. Let me explain to you why. Number one, sales is an energy game. If your energy does not allow you to be able to put in the work ethic in order to be able to reach your goals, you will never become a top performer. Your health is number one. The second reason behind that is that I saw something, you know, this was about a year ago that put things in drastic perspective for me. And maybe because it's into my 40s and my health is becoming even more and more important to me. And I've always been a big energy guy. There was a coach that asked this specific question. He said, hey, listen, Steve, if I would give you a million dollars cash, but you had to have, if you had poor health, you were struggling with your health, you were having issues, would you take that money? And my response and my answer after thinking about it, I was like, no way, my health actually matters more. Your health actually matters more than the outcome. If you're in sales, you're in it to make money. It's up to you from a production standpoint, but do not put off the number one thing that's going to allow you to be able to reach your goals. That is your energy. That is your health should be working out every day. That's tip number one. Tip number two, you better understand your numbers of what you want to accomplish and you have to reverse engineer how you're specifically going to reach those goals. The best sales reps have a goal in mind of what they want to make on a monthly, weekly, and a yearly basis, and they're able to reverse engineer specifically how they're going to actually reach that goal. In other words, how many conversations they have to have on a weekly basis, how many follow-ups do they have to have, how many closing presentations, what's their closing rate, what they need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, what they need to be doing on an hourly basis in order to break down that goal of reaching X revenue as a sales rep or X commissions. This is the hard work. This is the tedious work that just most sales reps don't do. They kind of go throughout their week. They go throughout their month. They try, but they really don't get micro focused on their hourly tasks and their daily tasks that inevitably help them to reach their goal. Reverse engineer the numbers and know your numbers in order to reach your goal. Number three, this is something that I love doing with prospects. Every time I'm going into a sales conversation, I'll do some research about the individual. I'll look them up on social media and I'll future pace and I'll see the outcome of what their life, their business is going to be like a year down the road. I'm seeing it for myself. I'm going into the sales call now more tenacious on making sure that I can help them to reach the vision that I have for the prospect, knowing that my product and service can actually help them. Even if you're selling done for you type services, as an agency owner, future pace, see the business owner, see yourself having conversations a year down the road saying, holy cow, I can't believe we're at this stage. When you go in with that mind frame, you're going to have a lot more tenacity going into that conversation when you've already anchored that belief and you've seen that vision. Number four, this may sound cliche, but expect people to buy. Oftentimes I see sales reps that get into slump. They're starting to put you know, negative thoughts into their head thinking, gosh, am I going to close a deal? Put yourself into a state where you expect people to purchase your products and services because you know that it is the outcome and what is actually best for them. Train your mind to expect people to buy your services and products and they will. The fifth tip is be willing to do what other people won't do. Remember how we talked about reverse engineering the numbers and being micro committed on your time and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? 90% of sales reps just aren't willing to actually put in the time. 90% of sales reps aren't actually willing to follow up multiple times with people. 90% of sales reps aren't willing to do the little things on a day-to-day -day basis in order for them to be able to reach those goals. I know you've probably heard some of this before, but trust me, these are the crux of being successful as a sales rep. Follow these things and you're going to make better commissions. You're going to be better as a sales rep. Like always, if you have any questions, comments, please do so. And we'll see you on the next training. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.